There is a saying, it is love that makes the impossible possible. I know that to be true as I stand here in front of the most beautiful woman in the world that I call my best friend and my wife. She's every season, promise spring, cool breeze in summer, the autumn leaves. She's everything, everything to me. Oh gracious and holy father, look joyfully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace that with true humility and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through jesus christ our savior who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen Kaylin. I cannot believe that today I get the once in a lifetime opportunity to promise myself to my best friend a lifetime of love and support. Out of all the life decisions that I have come across in my lifetime, spending my life with you has been the easiest for me. When I think of Caitlin, the words that come to mind are um, dedication, perseverance, fun, devoted, but the top of the list is the word love. Jin, we always talk about how we met each other at the perfect time. I had gone through a year of a self-healing journey and was opening up my heart, and you were settling in a new state and decided to give dating a try again. I remember the first weekend we spent together, I was so comfortable with you. Things felt easy and natural, like we'd been together for years. Fast forward uh, 30 years, Jin's finally says he's talking to somebody, right? So which makes me super, super happy, you know? This, this, here's this guy who's untouchable, you know, not interested in having a relationship, and I couldn't be more happy. Finally, he met Caitlin, you know? And I was the happiest guy in the world. Like a huge weight that was lifted off my shoulders. You know why? Because my sister's still in love with you, man. Like, what the heck, dude? <laughs> During our three short years together, we lived in three different states, three different time zones, three different homes, and we drove across country twice. Um, but through all the chaos and hardships we've endured, you were my shoulder when I needed comforting, you were my legs to pick me up when I was down, and you have always been my strength when I felt weak. the one that comforts me on my most inconsolable days, that loves me through my worst moments, that encourages me when I've lost hope, that puts my happiness, health, and comfort far beyond his own. Jin, I promise to be by your side when the weight of life is heavy and to celebrate with you in all life's joys. Just cause you are so free, doesn't mean the right to say. My wife, a few weeks ago, said to me, hey, Tony, um, you know, Jin is always calling you Mr. Escondon. Is it a time that, you know, I mean, I told him he could call me Lourdes. Is it a time for, you know? And I said, well, good for you, but um, uh, I kind of like Mr. Escondon. I'm, in fact, uh, I think he likes it. Uh, so, so uh, you know, uh, Jin, just so you know, today it's official. You can still call me Mr. Escondon. Caitlin, I'm so happy for you, and I know how much it took for you to get to this point in your life, but you did it. You're doing what you love by changing children's lives day by day. You're married to the man of your dreams. You're thriving, and it makes my heart so happy to see you achieving the goals that we would only dream as, as little kids. 
So it's a real to be standing here watching you marry the dream person that you talk about in middle school. Why do you push me? This marriage is my calling and I will answer every time. I've loved you over three years now and though it will never be enough time, I look forward to loving you for the rest of my life. Caitlin, you ready? Caitlin and Jin Chong! I love you guys! For as much as Jen and Caitlin have joined themselves in the sacred covenant of marriage and have declared themselves before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs>